Hi General Math students and welcome to the first video in Growth and Decay in Sequences. In this video we're going to look at arithmetic sequences. So in an arithmetic sequence we go through a series of numbers and when to get from one term to the next we increase or decrease by the same value each time. So in this sequence here we're going 5 and then we add 4 to that to get 9 and we add 4 to that to get 13 and so forth. Okay, and this sequence will just go on and on. We could keep counting through that sequence if we wanted to. So the first uh, example here asks us to, to identify uh, which of these are arithmetic sequences. So you might want to pause the video and try this on your own and then I'll show you what I think. Okay, so we're talking about these sequences here. The first one uh, is an arithmetic sequence because we're adding 2 each time. So we're going up by the same value each time and it's 2. In part B, that's also an arithmetic sequence and this one we're going to add 5 each time. Now this uh, part C is not an arithmetic sequence we're going up uh, doubling each time rather than going up by the same amount we're multiplying by the same number so in this case we go up by 4 then we go up by 8 then 16 so we're not going up by the same value each time so not an arithmetic sequence Now this one here this last one is a bit different it is an arithmetic sequence but we're uh, we're taking uh, 50 each time so we're going down by the same value. That's still an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so that's how we identify arithmetic sequences. What we're going to do now is some work with the sequence rule. So we're going to look at a sequence and we're going to determine the sequence rule which basically works on, on this equation here. So what this is saying that any particular term in the sequence, Tn, is equal to a which is the first term in the sequence plus n take 1 n being the the number or which the number of the term that we might want to find times the common difference d so in a nutshell we need to determine the value of a and d the first term and the common difference between the terms and then we can write down the sequence rule so if we look at this example here, I'm going to write down the general rule for a sequence over here. Okay, so we need to put numbers in for A and D. Tn and n are just going to be part of the sequence rule as it comes out in the end. Okay, so uh, let's determine the value of A. So we look to the very first term and it's 3. And then we look at D is our common difference between terms, and that is going up by sixes each time. So D is six. So if we write down the sequence rule just by putting those values in, we get Tn equals three plus n take one times six. Now we want you to expand and simplify this. Okay, we can't just leave it like this. Uh, in this form, we need to multiply out the brackets, then bring together like terms. So you might want to pause the video and try that on your own, then I'll show you what to do. Okay, so for this one, when we expand these brackets, we're going to go n times 6. So 6n, and then negative 1 times 6 gives us negative 6. So we can bring together these like terms. 3 take 6 gives negative 3. So what we end up with is that the sequence is Tn equals 6n take 3 because 3 take 6 gives that negative 3 there. So that is the simplified sequence rule. So make sure you practice doing that. The questions in the book show the sequence rules like this for the answers. Okay, next three terms in the sequence. So obviously we're going up in sixes here, so it's going to be 15, 21, 27, 33, and 39. All right. 
Uh, when we're asked to generate them, though, they want us to actually substitute into the sequence rule. So I want to find the, uh, that's the, the fifth term is 27, so I'm going to put n equals 5. So t5 equals 6 by 5, take 3. 5 sixes are 30, take 3 gives 27, as we identified up here. So that's how we actually go ahead and work it out. We can do it for the next two as well. When n is 6, the sixth term in the sequence, 6 by 6, take 3 gives 6 sixes of 36, take 3, 33. So that matches what we said it was going to be. And if we did the same thing for term 7, we'd get 39. I'm sure you would believe me. Okay, let's not count up one term at a time to the 15th term. Let's go straight to it. So we're going to put n equals 15 into the equation. So t15 equals... 6 by 15, take 3. 6 by 15 is 90, take 3, 87. So the 15th term in this sequence is 87. Okay, guys, go ahead and check the description for the video for the questions that you need to try on arithmetic sequences.